Welcome to Fox. Tonight, as House Democrats and Attorney General William Barr clash over the terms of his testimony this week, the head of the DOJ threatening to skip his hearing before the House Judiciary Committee on Thursday unless they scrap plans to have a commit have committee staff do the questioning. Barr says the lawmakers should be doing the questioning, but Chairman Jerry Nadler says that it is not up for up to him to decide. It's not up to the Attorney General to tell the committee how to conduct this business or. Uh, we will decide uh, what the most effective way of uh, asking questions are, and we, that's what we, our decision is. If he doesn't show up on Thursday, we'll have to go to subpoenas. Here now, Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Lindsey Graham. He is, uh, his committee is expected to question Attorney General Barr on Wednesday. Senator Graham, always good to have you with us. Thank you very much for being here, Mr. Thank Chairman. You. Um, well, I, I know without that a subpoena, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I want to get to that in a moment, but I, I also know you, you wanted to respond to what Judge Napolitano yeah. said about his disagreement yeah. with, with yeah. the attorney general over the yeah. issue of obstruction. Well, you know, I, you know, I like Judge Napolitano, but he's completely 100 percent wrong. The obstruction of justice pertains to colluding with the Russians, not firing Comey. The theory is that you fire Comey to stop the Russian investigation. What do we know after the Mueller report? There was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. There is no underlying crime. What do we also know? That the Trump administration gave the special counsel a million documents, allowed people to testify, McGahn, for 30 hours, and never claimed executive privilege. To the Sally Yates of the world, this ridiculous, absurd, to charge this president with obstructing justice when there was no underlying crime to obstruct and he cooperated fully with the special counsel and finally name one event that Donald Trump engaged in that impeded the Mueller investigation. All right. Uh, uh, duly, duly noted, and uh, we'll register your complaints with, uh, with Judge Napolitano. Um, I want to play this for you. This is uh, something that showed up on Comedy Central uh, with a comedian named Jordan Klepper, who had Bill Clinton on one side of him That's and right. Hillary Clinton on the other side of him. And they ended up discussing William Barr and legal degrees and going to law school. Watch this. We got to really digest what's in the Mueller report because we know what the Attorney General said about it is not true. No. That he misrepresented it. But, he should uh, go to law school. Maybe we should send him to law school. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to chip in on the charitable fund of Jordan Klepper and maybe send Bill Barr to law school. What do you uh, think about that? Of all the people that I would seek legal advice from, Clinton's would be at the bottom of my list. They've had enough legal trouble in their life for about 10 people. So all I could say to Bill Barr, you can withstand this criticism. Go on and do your job. Oh, you would think that with all they've been through and, you know, yeah. they have their own feeling about that, that they would just want to kind of be quiet during this whole moment and not say anything. But they keep keep weighing in, keep saying, you know, the president should have been indicted. It's, it's, it's actually a, it's, it's just a, a psychologically fascinating uh, thing to, to watch unfold. Well, it's on Comedy Central for a reason. Yeah, well, there funny. you have it. There you have it. Um, you, you know, I want to ask you about Bill Barr and whether or sure. not you agree with him that he, he's going to testify uh, in front of your committee, of course, the Senate to Judiciary committee of which you are chair um, but the question is the house committee and they want him to be questioned by staffer uh, staffer attorneys what do you think about that well I think uh, Bill Barr is required by law to receive the Mueller report and report to Congress we will interview uh, we will question uh, the Attorney General each senator will get seven minutes and if we need a second round we'll have a short second round I can understand his concern what the house is doing is way over the top. Mueller is the final word on this. I fought like hell to make sure Mueller could do his job without interference. I introduced legislation so that he couldn't be fired without cause. And I told everybody in the country, if the president colluded with the Russians, that would be horrible and terrible, but I don't believe he did, and Mueller said he didn't. This is over. This is political revenge. The House is on a witch hunt, truly a witch hunt, to try to make something out of nothing. Uh, Mueller said to Barr, I can't decide about obstruction of justice, and since there's no underlying crime, it'd be hard to prove intent. The president did nothing to impede Mueller, and if the House pursues this, it's because they've gone crazy when it comes to Trump. 
I, I want to show you uh, Rod Rosenstein's resignation letter, a, a little piece of it. He said, I'm grateful. He wrote it to the president. I'm great. He's going to leave May 11. Uh, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to serve, for the courtesy and humor you often display in our personal conversations, and for the goals you set in your inaugural address, patriotism, unity, safety, education, and prosperity. Um, and he goes on uh, with more in the letter. I'm just curious what you think about that. You know, in light of, I, Rod Rosenstein is such an interesting character in all of this. When I think back to the whole, you know, I'll wear a wire, I'll pick up some of what the president says in my yeah. next meeting. Um, what do you make of the tone that he has now? Well, I think it's a respectful tall, uh, tone. I like Rod Rosenstein. You gotta remember, Rod Rosenstein wrote a letter, a memo to President uh, Trump suggesting he fire Comey because of the way he handled the Clinton email investigation. Right. Bernie Sanders, Chuck Schumer said that Comey should be uh, basically fired. Rod Rosenstein agreed with uh, Attorney General Barr there was no obstruction when it comes to President Trump. So I think he served his country well. I think he served his country honorably. I do want to know why he signed the warrant, the FISA warrant application regarding the dossier that was used to get a warrant against Carter Page. This is a bunch of garbage. But generally speaking, I like Rod Rosenstein, and he signed off on the idea that the president didn't obstruct justice. All right. Chairman Graham, I want to have you back to talk about uh, your immigration proposals next time. I'd love to talk to Great. you more about that when we have some time. Uh, good to see you tonight, sir. Many thanks. Thank you.